Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crystal, and today we are going to be doing a pretty little thing. You good? <laughs> pretty little thing try on haul. I haven't done one in a while. I had kind of just forgot their website existed. And I think I saw an ad on Instagram or something like that. And I was like, you know what? I love their sweatshirts. So let's go see what they've got. And I did. And I got this bag and this bag. It took them forever to get to me. And also, I was kind of butt hurt because, sir, they showed up. The whole time it says they're being delivered UPS, okay? So I'm tracking UPS and waiting on them. And UPS had an estimated delivery date. And come to find out, they had transferred it over to the USPS, the post postal service and I never got a notification like an update like tracking thing that said like hey this is who has it so I had no idea that both of these were in my box and I needed to go get them so they sat there for like five days I feel terrible because that was just anyway that's not the point so we got some good stuff I'm gonna pull everything out. There's bag one. And then bag two is just a pair of shoes. I love shoes from Pretty Little Thing. Y'all, I have tons of shoes from them and they are just so good. So good. All right, you know what? Let's go, let's look at the shoes first. We're back, okay. So, anyways, I love Pretty Little Thing. Their shoes are amazing. And honestly, if you can catch them on a sale, a great deal. So, guess what I got? Platform Ugg dupes. And honestly, this one is very, very much like an Ugg. Oh, I'm loving it. Look at this cutie patootie. So, we've got like the micro mini platform Ugg dupe very very soft on the outside it's not real in any way shape or form this is faux but it's nice it's soft the inside seems cozy i'm into it love these already so i grabbed those obviously much needed considering i'm about to move to louisiana though i don't know i'm gonna be sweating in them but baby i'm gonna be wearing them aren't we? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to grab the thing on top and we're going to go with that first. I'll try on the shoes in a second with something else and show you what they look like. All right, guys, I like PLT's like cozies. It's so cute. So comfortable. Good prices. Doesn't shrink. Holds up well. I love their cozies. Okay. So this is just an oversized, this might have even been like a dress situation, I think, like a sweatshirt dress. I'm not sure, but oversized PLT right here. And then on the back, it just says pretty on the sleeve, little in the middle, and got much back. Now, end thing on this side. So, really, really cute. I love a black and white monochromatic moment. We are here for it. I'm loving it. I got this in a size US 4, UK 8. So a US 4, as you can see, it is clearly oversized. So we are going to throw this on and see how it looks. But I mean, obviously it's gonna be cute. I have no doubt, so. Okay guys, so I don't know if you can see the boots. I have no idea. You guys know if you're not new I have glasses that I need to wear. I cannot see you guys very well. I can see where I am, but I can't tell if you can see my feet when I'm standing straight up. But I have on the little Ugg dupes, and y'all, these are comfortable. The sole is a little heavy, but I just feel like that's a good thing because when a shoe feels like you're not wearing a shoe to me that just screams, hey, I'm made as cheaply as possible. So I really 
like these. These are comfortable. I forgot to tell you guys, I got a US 8. So I'm normally a seven and a half, but when it comes to any sort of like fur boot, I always go up a half size because I don't want them to be too tight. I guess. These are extremely comfortable though. I am in love with these and I think they are precious and cute and so good. Love them. They also have them in several different colors and everything will be linked in the description box down below for you guys. So you can grab some because they're good. And then of course here is this and yes I am almost positive this is supposed to be like a sweatshirt dress. I will probably still wear leggings or something like that underneath at least bike shorts weather permitting but you could wear it without. Here's the back. Whoa you're gonna see a booty cheek. See that's why I would wear it with something else. Here's the back. Just really cute. I like it. Adorable. 10 out of 10. Okay. Next up, we have a cute little bag. I'm a sucker for like a crossbody type bag. Um, this one isn't the best quality. It's like they put all of the all of the work into the strap, which is it's very, let's see. Um, there are high, like, designer brands that have straps like this, so I know what they're going for, and it's still cute, but, you know, let's see. Obviously, I need to loosen it, unless I want to wear it on my boob, but it's still nice, and I like how I would be able to just unzip, grab a few things out of the inside, Zip it back up. The zipper isn't the best, but it's also not the worst. Um, we have a problem. Okay, never mind. I think the zipper's gonna work. These zippers are a little stiff. These aren't the best zippers, but also I didn't pay the most in the world for this either. Can you just tell that I'm sitting here like basically in my underwear? Um, yeah, so the material on it is kind of cheap. It's not the best. I think it would be better once there are things in it to kind of weigh it down. Let's see. You're not going to be able to fit a ton in here. My phone takes up the majority of the room and then my wallet and my keys would take up the rest. So if you're someone that carries a crap ton in your purse, girl, this ain't for you. You will not have enough room. There is a teeny tiny pocket on the inside that you could probably put a tampon and a lip gloss in, but like I said, it, there's not a ton of room in this. And the zippers are very, very stiff. I can't speak to how long you'll be able to use this before it starts to screw up, but you know, it wasn't super duper expensive. I love the strap. The strap is adorable and I will carry this 110%. I feel like once it kind of loses some of its stiffness and like calms down, it will be a lot better. I think it would be better to carry it on this side though, so you can unzip that way. Actually, it's growing on me. This is very secure and snug. This would be great for like an all day shopping trip and you know you're going to be getting in and out of the car a lot. I find that a lot of times if I'm over where there's like Target and Home Goods and TJ Maxx and Ross and all that stuff and I'm like moving my car just a little bit throughout the parking lot, I like to have a bag that I can just keep on, throw my seatbelt over the bag and just move my car, jump back out. So this is really I really like this. It isn't the best quality, but I think it'll be okay because it's not like I spent $65 on this. I think it was like 15 bucks. So not bad at all. And the strap is extremely cute. Like I'm loving the red and the white and the black. Love it. So cute. We approve. All right, next up, we just have this really pretty pink sweatshirt. 
right here it says plt studio collection i have no idea what the heck that is i guess they came out with the studio collection it's like this really rubbery tag and it's kind of just like i don't know like stuck on here somehow and i really like this blush pink color i like how basic it is with just the tiny tiny logo over here there is nothing on the back and it is extremely oversized i got a medium in this and the one good thing about their sweatshirts is they do not shrink they do not get gross as you wear them and you wash them the integrity stays nice they stay comfortable they stay cozy if anything they get softer as you wear them and stuff so i love their sweatshirts wait until they're having a good sale good 60 percent off everything on the website you know go over there go to the plt tab I know that's the website, but they have like their own like PLT stuff that has like their logo on it. That's where you find the good comfy stuff. Let's try this on and see what it looks like. Okay, so here is this pink sweatshirt. Sorry, I'm working around Gus. He's laying right here. I don't know if you can see him, but he is he's large and he is taking up the entire rug. Uh, no regrets from him though. Anyways. Here's this sweatshirt. Obviously the back is just plain. The front has the teeny tiny logo. It is not intrusive. This is very comfortable. It's very well made. It's cozy. All of that. I love this sweatshirt so much. It is just like absolute comfort. So 10 out of 10. I know it's just a sweatshirt, but y'all comfort matters too to be comfortable. You need cozy clothes. You need hoe clothes, but you need cozy clothes too. All right, so, and who's to say you can't be sexy in a sweatshirt? Okay, anyways, I really love this, super cute. 10 out of 10, very comfortable. It covers the booty and it covers the coochie. Okay, so we're loving that. We're loving and we're living and we're laughing. Okay, so next up, another sweatshirt. Guys, I live in sweatshirts this time of year. I mean, it's cozy. It's comfy. I like this green color. Again, it just says PLT over here. Very basic, very small. It's not like slapping you in the face with the logo. I got this in a medium because I just wanted it to be nice and big and oversized. This is a hoodie. This isn't just a crew neck. This is a hoodie. I love this deep green color. Super cute for Christmas. Okay. Love the deep green. We got a nice pocket. It's very soft. It's very comfortable. And like I've said already, their sweatshirts have never failed me. They're made well. They're comfortable. They wash and dry well. No, no issues whatsoever. This one, I might would be leery washing it with like lighter colors because the green may run or fade, but you never know. So I like this. Let's go ahead and try it on and see how it looks. Okay, same thing, but different a little bit. So we got the hoodie, still covers the bum, covers the lady bits, very nice length. And like I've said already, but I'm gonna reiterate, I haven't had an issue with any of their stuff shrinking. Wash it on cold, dry it on low. I haven't had an issue with anything shrinking. It just doesn't. So there's that. And they stay comfy and cozy and two thumbs, two thumbs up. Um, little patch, not intrusive, not a big, you know, not like a whew, type of logo. It's just there. You know what I mean? I like it. Very subtle. I love this. I've got the hiccups. I love this green color. There's the sleeves. Made well, nice and soft, comfortable, all that good stuff. Let's see the hood. Yep, the hood's a nice size. It fits on my head. And if you're like, well, of course, y'all, I've gotten hoodies where it was like to put the hood on and I could not straighten out my neck at all. I don't know what was going on, but I have had the rare occasion where the hood just would not put on, fit on my head and I don't have a big head. So 10 out of 10 again. We have two more things. The first is this blazer. Y'all, we got shoulder pads. We've got a tan blazer. I don't know how I feel about it. 
it kind of looks cropped or something. Hold on. No? We'll see how it looks. I got this in a US 6. Um, I almost always get blazers a size up than what it from where I would normally get them just for the simple fact that I am broader in the shoulders and I don't like when I feel like the Incredible Hulk and I move my arms and it feels like it's going to rip in the back. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I think this is one of those items that it may have looked really cute on the model, but it may not look good on me. We'll see. But... I know this is a jumpsuit, so I think I'm going to try it on with this jumpsuit. It may not look the best, but just for the sake of time, I try, I've try. i been trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter before they were grown, like, except for my get ready with me's. I'm sorry, guys. Those will never be lickety split unless you want me to not talk at all. Okay. So, this is a jumpsuit, Okay. It's long sleeve. It's got like this faux mock neck type situation. Um, it's like a legging. We've got a zipper down the front. Okay. And then it has peeled the pretty little thing right here. I like the black and the white. I like a good jumpsuit, guys. I think they're cute. Now, do I think that this blazer is going to look good with it? No. But we're going to try the blazer on with the jumpsuit, and then we're going to look at the jumpsuit by itself. And I'm just curious to see how this fits. So let's go ahead and do the damn thing with these two pieces. Okay, guys, so here is this jumpsuit. First off, I love it. It's comfortable. I got it in a US 6. I don't feel any camel toe action going on, so we're thankful for that. It's not riding up my butt. I also have underwear on and I don't feel like the panty line is that bad because to me there's nothing worse than wearing a jumpsuit than when you wear a jumpsuit with no undies. You go commando and then you go to sit down on the toilet and you're basically just sitting there with the bra on and just butt ass naked everywhere else. It's just, it's, it's something. It's an experience. Okay, first of all, first off, I feel... I feel kind of sexy in this, even though, oh, poor sleepy boy, even though it's like a long sleeve and it's up to here. Um, just a disclaimer, though, this zipper was being a bit of a bitch in one area. I don't know if it seems to be smooth right now, but I can't get it to really go up past the, oh, there we go. I might have just screwed myself into being stuck in this thing, but there it is zipped all the way up. Let's, uh. Let's, oh no, okay. You know what, just don't, just don't, just leave it, you know. You could if you wanted to be, you could, mm, but that's not my thing, you know, so I'm more of a right here kind of gal. So loving this, it also has thumb holes, but these are the tiniest thumb holes I have ever put my thumbs through. It feels like it's cutting off the circulation, so I'm gonna pass on the thumb holes. Uh, thank you though. Now, let's go ahead and try on this blazer, even though I know that I would never pair it with this jumpsuit, but I want to see how it fits and where it hits on my body and all that good stuff. So, let's see what's up. Okay, come on, shoulder pad. All right, let's fix the shoulder pad, which you can cut the shoulder pads out. You don't have to leave those. Des, can you move, baby? Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, styled the right way, it could be great. A nice jean, a cute bodysuit, or maybe like a mock neck sweater, short sleeve sweater top. And then this, I think we, I think we could rock it. I think we could make a cute outfit out of it. Do you have to attack me, ma'am? Do you have to? I like it. I think we could do a lot with this. Um, obviously not with this jumpsuit. But I wouldn't button it. To me, it looks way too boxy. 
I feel like you need like a very body con situation under. You need to show off the body. Because if you did like bulky and bulky and then this, you're going to look really boxy. The only other way I could see styling this is to wear it over a hoodie and style it with really cute leggings and some Ugg boots or something. Maybe that would work. But other than that, I feel like you need something very fitted underneath and you need to wear it so that you can see the fitted underneath. Otherwise, you're going to look very, very masculine because it does have a bold shoulder pad and it is quite boxy at the bottom. I wish it were a little bit longer, I think, or maybe tailored in the waist portion. I don't know exactly how I feel about it. I don't know. Let's take this off though. It's nicely made. It's got a good amount of, you know, it's got a little stretch to it. Seems good quality. I'm not mad at it. Could you two move? No. Out. Out. Thank you. All right, guys. So we've tried everything on. I'm not mad at it. We've even, let me show you the bag with this jumpsuit because I think it's cute. Y'all, it is adorable. I'm in love with it. Could you quit? All right, guys, I love you. I hope you enjoyed this try on haul. If you don't, if you only get one thing from this haul though, I have to say, get these. They're good. They have them in black, they have them in tan. I don't remember what other colors they have them in, but these are good. So if you only get one thing like these, this is good. This would be a good Christmas gift for anybody that wants like the little micro Uggs, but, or the mini Uggs, but you don't wanna pay like that full price tag. I think these are around like 40 bucks. If you get them on sale, then they're not even that. So this is good and it's like a, it's like a hefty shoe. It's well made too. So quite impressed. I was very impressed when I opened that box. I loved everything though. I say 10 out of 10. The worst thing of the haul for me definitely would be the tan blazer just because it's a little bit boxier than I thought it was going to be, but we will style it and we will make it look cute. Maybe I will do a video styling that blazer a couple of different ways. So let me know if that's something you would be interested in. I love you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was. If you haven't followed me on TikTok and Instagram, go ahead and check me out over there. The links are in the description box and all of these clothing pieces will be linked down there as well. I love you and I will see you next time. Bye.